there's a hyenas coming, running towards us. Hey, hey! <laughs> Morning, uh, young hyena. This might be one of the baby hyena that uh, we have been wondering where where they are. This is sub adult hyena in front of the vehicle. <laughs> See how inquisitive uh, he is. And please don't chew your tires, huh? And the hyenas uh, tend to chew the vehicle tires and, and deflate them. Yeah. Look at them running, just playing, just having fun this morning. Young hyenas are very, very playful, and especially in the early hours of the mornings and the late hours, late hours of the afternoon. Now the king break this way again. We should stay right here. Lions audio way up in the north, eh? possibly in the Manulator Reserve. So it might possibly be the same lions that killed the cow outside the uh, Sabi Sand and Manulator Reserve yesterday afternoon. Um, but they have been dotted last night and uh, Put them back into the reserve again. The slick hot is the ease from the vehicle. Eh? It's actually right here next to the vehicle He's sniffing around the tires there he goes snossing weight from the dew it's, it's nice to have the hyenas and and the other animals to come right next to the vehicle. They're just curious, as I said. I mean, they're just uh, observing us in the vehicle. Again. Henry, Henry, come in. Uh, just the two, um, one people on a PC um, here by uh, um, the pump. Uh, we just confirm way about uh, the Columbus way.
very interesting, yeah. It's too excited to see young hyenas running around and playing here. Don't bite me. I'm not the food. <laughs> Do you look like a food, a young hyena? Wow. You were sniffing my shoes. Maybe they stink. Amazing, yeah? I've never heard a hyena as close as this uh, young hyena before. Yeah? Let's look how close he is from the vehicle. Just welcome to Wall F. Yeah? My name is Patrick presenting, say behind the camera. So what a privilege to have it, two young hyenas and coming right next to the vehicle and uh, sniff or shoes and sniff around the vehicle. This is incredible, yeah, absolutely incredible. The playing around the fresh elephant dung. We often see the hyenas and the other predators, like lions and leopards, and also rolling around in the um, elephant dung and sometimes rhino dung or buffalo dung. Just to uh, kill their own small to confuse the, uh, the prey species. It's back again. <laughs> it's looking for food. Are you gonna bite me? This is amazing, eh? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm actually attractive. I'm not going to allow him to smell my shoes because you never know what he's going to do. Eh? If the hyena gives you a good bite and then it's going to hurt severely for days. He may even cut my whole foot off with the powerful jaw structure and vicious teeth. Right, here we go, here we go, Seb. Here we go, now he's, he's chewing the, the vehicle's um, cover. You know the footrest cover? That's what he's chewing now. Wow.
just destroying the vehicle. ATV is going to make us pay for that. No, 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 hyena, that's enough. Hey. Oh. Now he's getting back again. Now I'm not going to allow him to carry on with his business. No, 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 this is enough. Hey. He's just young and naughty. Huh? He's, he just wants to play. What a fantastic morning. This is uh, awesome, yeah. I I was actually worried about my feet. Was his nose or was about this um, far apart from my uh, my feet? I don't know if he had the. Uh, um, had his teeth chewing the uh, um, the vehicle cover. And he's got very, very vicious teeth, and then his skin is about this long, and he's still a very young hyena. So just can you imagine how big his skin uh, will be in, in the next two years when he will be fully matured. Amazing morning, yeah? I've never had this kind of experience before of the hyenas and coming right to the vehicle and chewing um, the vehicle. As I said earlier, that they sometimes um, chew the vehicle tires and, and deflate them, yeah? Like I, I've, I've seen the hyenas and chewing the, the aircraft um, tires and deflated them in the miniature reserve many, many years ago. But obviously there were not people around. Like we, I'm sitting right here and the is behind. The camera busy filming. There's a whole thing happening here and the hind just um, ignored us and, 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 uh, and did his own thing. Wow. Just gonna show you. This is the piece of duct tape that uh, <laughs> that uh, he um, is stripped off from the side of the vehicle. He was trying to get into um, on, onto the side of the vehicle, just uh, right next to my uh, my feet. That's why I said uh, I'm, I'm never going to allow him to um, to continue with his business because I was just worried about my feet. Yeah. Yes, you never know. He's, he's, he's young and uh, he's still misbehaving himself. So he can do whatever he thinks it's, it's good for him. Another fascinating morning in Africa. I'm not gonna forget this. It's 
So this is the highlight of the uh, morning drive so far. The hyenas chewing the vehicle. <laughs> They've had enough with us now and they're going to the other, another gambler vehicle ahead of us. Coming back to us again. Grande. Maybe another hyena has walked along here during the night or sometime early this morning. That's why I'm in the lasso. I'm found. I'm found by Terence. Yes, sir. Morning, folks. Twenty-five. Makumara, good news, bro. Fuck, 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 fuck. 
One in, one in, folks. Chewing on something in the grass there. I can hear the crunching of something. I'm just gonna get closer. Maybe they're chewing the, the bones. Tortoise shell, yeah. That's why they were chewing on. There comes another hyena, just walking down the road. Must have been the hyena that we had calling earlier in the distance. <clears throat> and these two hyenas, more than one hyena, it's another youngster. Also uh, walking down the road towards us. It doesn't look like these two uh, f uh, chewing the bones uh, have seen the, the other two hyenas uh, walking down the road. Yeah, they're moving off. Well, they had them. Yeah. Yeah, these two had the other two hyenas. I don't think the uh, I don't think that they know that the, there's another two hyenas um, approaching them. They think that it could be it could be something else. And they're walking away, yeah. The other two hyenas are also moving and moving in a different direction. Yeah? But here's one youngster there. It's back on the road. maneuver the vehicle and see what will happen here yeah. 
Look at the gratings. It's probably lift, lifting the, one of the back legs and then and smell each other. They must be having a, a special gland on the, on the genitals that uh, they use to recognize each other, just like lions and leopards. If they've been away from each other for a while and then you'll see them when they when they um, meet each other and then they will smell each other's around the, the, the fascist and then and also around the uh, um, the genitals And if it's not the part of the uh, of the family or the part of the clan, like the hyenas, for instance, and then it will be a very, very big fight. So obviously, these individuals are are related. Brothers and sisters and half brothers and and half sisters and parents and these hyenas are also territorial and they do defend the territory from the uh, another clans. I'm just going to follow them for a while and see what they're up to and where they're going to lead us to. This youngster is trying to catch up with the other individuals. We still haven't managed to locate the communal den. It's 
that Terminal Dell might be in the south. Maybe the old uh, Dan Bay by um, Batelli Road, east of Spaghetti Crossing. Kudu cow is curious at the hyena. Could is still concerned about the hyena walking by. It's staring at us now. <laughs> 